Okay, so let's start out with a 360 view of my garden. Okay, so here you'll see um, the mint that I spoke about. And then right here is my lonely little, um, my lonely little bell pepper plant. And then we have my makeshift um, greenhouse. Oh, and I just wanted to show you that the greenhouse is just basically a covering. Um, and over here I took out some of the uh, roofing so that uh, some sunlight can get down. So I go through stages. I go through the shaded plant stage and then uh, uh, heat, you know, that's where I start my seeds also. And then uh, I, I gradually give it some more sun like this, okay? Um, oops, here is my compost tumbler. Later on we'll take a look at how that works. And then if we continue on, I have a lot of property that I just don't know what to do with. So slowly it's going to be taken over by vegetables and fruits and things like that. Here is my little greenhouse. Um, notice there's basically no covering over the greenhouse um, except for the top. That's just for efficiency to let the air go through and not to let all the sun beam down on it. Um, here's that covering that I had that uh, showed the RGGS group that you guys said that it was going to um, get brittle and, and get destroyed so far so good it's been a week or so maybe not long enough to know if it's going to um, actually get uh, brittle but so far uh, it's been a cheap way of covering my plants and keeping them out of this hot sun it diffuses the sun's rays and heat it's about maybe I want five to ten degrees warmer uh, cooler inside or underneath than directly out under the sun so it's it's been working okay over here I have all my four o'clocks which um, I don't use them I don't I mean they give out some beautiful flowers but um, I basically just use them to um, keep the soil working they take out some nutrients from the soil but that doesn't really matter because when I go ahead and um, uh, reap them um, all I do is I throw them back into my compost tumbler so all the nutrients just go right back into my dirt later on. Okay, continuing on, nothing, 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 and then I have here my lemon plant that I bought three years ago and it's finally giving me some lemon so I'm not going to uproot it. I don't have a lot of patience for trees. I like the instant gratifications vegetables give me. And here's just another one of the um, greenhouse that I'm constructing. I'm going to be putting it in this area because this area right here gets almost uh, a full day's worth of sun whereas over here in the morning um, I don't have a lot of sun but in the evening I have about um, in the evening I have a lot more sun okay so um, then this is going to finally go over here to this area that you see that's kind of bare I'm going to be putting that greenhouse over there um, part in the basketball uh, hoop there I have suns and they kind of if you're not careful they take over the garden more than my plants do okay so I'll be coming back and showing you what I'm going to do with all this and how I kind of amend my dirt with the dirt that's underneath this for this four o'clock this bed that I have here okay as you can see here I was able to pull up the majority of the uh, four o'clock flowers it was um, easy to pull up because the water I mean, because of uh, me working the the soil so many years, the soil is nice and uh, easy to work. And this is the uh, product of all the work here. This is all the four o'clock and some of the grass that I was able to pull up. Next step is to hoe whatever is left and pick up all these stragglers. Okay, so. This is just one section of the area that I did. Um, I had to hoe it a bit to get some of the stragglers out. And uh, as you can see, it's black gold. So, I mean, I love it. You know, you just run your fingers through it and you can see how nice this looks. And um, I'm gonna show you the next step of how, what I do to sift it. Okay, so I made this here with some one by fours. Um, it's just a little sifter and then over here you'll see that I have my little uh, Rubbermaid pump right here. Okay. 
So if I can get this the right way, I have it set up so that I don't have a lot of loss of, um, of dirt of my, my compost, okay? So basically I get my shovel and I take about three scoops here and I sift that so I'm going to go ahead and sift it I'll show you what I do here real simple and then I take these rocks here and I put them right back in here actually um, what I used to do was throw them away and then I do that a couple more times until it's full That's that beautiful compost there. I'm gonna have to put my shovel on the ground because it keeps falling. So, I'll just shake it through. So you get all these roots and things, but they're not gonna go through. I got nice big chunks of compost. There you go. Settles in. I'm gonna just put this on the side for a second here. And I'm going to grab my shovel and I'm going to show you what we have here. See, this is beautiful, beautiful dirt. I go through here and there's anything that could fit through the, uh, through the grate there. That's what I'm using. It's beautiful, beautiful compost. Beautiful. And uh, I'm going to show you what I do next for for the amendment here. Okay, so I'm gonna settle this right here. Settle this down, nice and even. Like I'm making a chocolate cake, huh? Okay, no. so I'm gonna settle this nice and even here. And then I'm gonna get my rock dust. I'm gonna show you what I do with that. Okay, I have here my rock dust. I don't remember exactly what it was um, when I bought it, but um, if anyone could remember or can tell me, it's just this nice and kind of yellow color here. So all I do with this rock dust, and it's very important that you do not breathe this in, because if you breathe this in, it's actually fine, fine partic particles, and it could get in your lungs and really tear it to shreds. So what I'm gonna do here, um, see how it's just very fine, fine powder, okay? Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it across here. And all I'm doing is getting a little fine mist over here. A little goes a long way, so I don't want to overdo it. Besides, um, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world and it lasts me a while. Okay, and then we once again use uh, nature's favorite tool, your hands, and we go ahead and mix it in. Mix that sucker in there. Get really deep. Bring it up from the bottom all the way to the top. If you see any stragglers like grass or whatever, I usually take that out if I see anything or feel anything that's unusual. That's why I use my hands because I can use a shovel but if I find anything in here that I really don't want, maybe a rock that got through or something like that, then I can go ahead and take it out. So the rock dust, as you may or may not know, has the minerals that the uh, vegetables will use later. It makes your vegetables taste a lot better. And uh, whatever minerals you put in your dirt, that's going to be what you eat. So the rock dust kind of really amends everything. And there we have it, some nice potting soil. I mean, maybe in the future I'll buy perlite or anything like that, but up till now it's really held 
the dirt well and uh, for those of you who were worried about the disease or anything in there um, I don't really I haven't really worried about that you know I, I grow enough seeds I plant enough seeds that if anything happens to one or two for every one seed that dies I have ten more that come up so uh, I don't really worry about that too much um, perhaps if I have a whole batch that goes bad or something then uh, so now that that's mixed up a little bit I go ahead and I uh, take my shovel and try to get really deep in there bring that up and there we have it we have the nice little dirt there potting soil and I have some extra potting soil down here but what we're gonna do with this you'll see I'm just gonna kinda shovel that right back into the dirt into my uh, bed so as you can see this took a little bit of effort but uh, what I lost in sweat <laughs> I gained in saved money so this will last me a good while as I bring my pots up and up and up and uh, repot and repot to bigger pots and that's exactly how I do it so thank you very much for the question and I uh, hope this answers everything